Okay, we are moving right along. In this video, we want to create a status bar. Now we're going to do a lot of things with this status bar and we're going to work on it in many videos. But in this video, I just want to create the actual status bar and kind of slap it up onto the screen. So let's come down to the bottom of our code here. And above this temporary label thing that we use sometimes, let's go create status bar. So let's call this status underscore bar. And we're just going to use a label widget. And we've used labels in the past to put text up on the screen. So we're just going to make a fancy label and stick it at the bottom of our app and call that a status bar, right? Probably the easiest way to do it. So let's go, where do we want this? We want to put it in our root window. And we want the text right now to equal nothing. Or I don't know, we'll just type in nothing. Now, we want to make this kind of look like a bar. So I want to give this a border of one. So it'll be a have a line around it, right? So it's not just text, it'll be like in a little box, right? And we want to make that border, we want to give it a relief of groove, all capital, and this will make it sort of a, a bumpier, you know, thicker border uh, box, basically. And then finally, we want to anchor on the east side. So widgets, you can anchor in directions, north, south, east and west. And so I want the, the bulk of the text in our status bar to be down in the bottom right hand corner. So that would be anchored to east, the east side, the far right side. Okay, so now let's status underscore bar dot pack this on the screen. And we want to give this a fill of x. And now this is a capital x. And what this means is fill the entire x coordinate. So x is always left to right, y is always up and down. So we want it to stretch along the x axis. So we want it to basically stretch the whole bottom of our program, right? So fill x. And then we can say what side do we want to put this on? Uh, I want to put it on the bottom. All right, so we want this down at the bottom, we want it to stretch all the way across, we want the text to end up down in the bottom right hand corner. And that's good. And then finally, I'm going to give this an iPad y of two. We've done pad y before, which puts space above and below a thing. iPad y is like internal pad y. That means inside of our box that we've just created, I want to give it a little bit of padding, just a couple of pixels of padding, uh, just to, uh, I think that'll look good. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to see if we mess that up. Okay, so you see, we've got this little bar down here, it says nothing right now, right? And uh, that's, that's good. That's a basic status bar. And I think uh, we can we can work with that. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll start to talk about song time. And uh, that'll be in the next video.